We're at Skyland, Nebraska. We are a processing facility. We will process cattle, 5,400 head a day. You're hurting a live animal. Our biggest deal is safety out here. I mean, you're talking 1,500 to 1,800 pounds. These are very large animals. And it's something that causes concern because there is no way of knowing what the animal is going to do. One of our vendors sent me a link to a video, and probably within 10 seconds of watching the video, I just immediately knew we could move cattle with that kind of robot. I didn't know what it looked like, I didn't know the functionality of it, so it was just a bunch of unknowns. It's something that you don't think would work right away. The first one we tried was made out of plastic, you know, and it got kicked once and the, and the pieces flew. We've definitely beefed it up. What we did then is we looked at, okay, how do we move cattle today? Well, we move them with flags. They were kind of redesigned the whips that we had on it with the trash bags that we use. Our employees, they can talk, they can whistle. So we needed sound. Come on, let's move it. Come on, hey, hey. You work with this thing for two weeks and you're just, you're amazed on what it can do already. Before lunch break, we already had three employees running the robot and doing a very fine job of running it. Joystick on it is just like an Xbox controller, so pretty easy. Employees appreciate the fact that it's keeping them safe. Hey, it's another team member. It makes them feel a lot safer, and it actually is a pretty good assistant. If something does occur, it's a machine that breaks and not a human getting hurt. Run over the robot. That's fine. We can build it, refix it. We can buy a new one. But, you know, keeping our employees safe, that was the number one driver for me.